Hey, this is Maggie Mitchell, and this week we will be looking at the importance of book reviews in the study of history. Book reviews, typically written by fellow historians, are incredibly important in describing the main argument, supporting evidence, and the strengths and weaknesses of a book. However, it is important to note that each book review is completely different in both form and technique from the next. In order to see these differences and the importance of book reviews, we will be analyzing book reviews from two different books, Jefferson's Nephews, A Frontier Tragedy by Boynton Merrill, printed by the University of Nebraska Press and Princeton University Press, and When the Mississippi Ran Backwards, Empire Intrigue, Murder in the New Madrid Earthquakes by J. Feldman, printed by the Free Press. Both of these books are about Jefferson's nephew, Mr. Lewis, who killed a slave, was caught, and then committed suicide before he was able to be brought to trial. First, we will look at Merrill's book reviews. The first book review is by Carmony, and this review notes that Merrill's work is of limited value as a historic study, mostly built on speculation. Macaulay's review notes the interesting connection of the western frontier of the United States between Thomas Jefferson, Meriwether Lewis, and the rest of the Lewis Jefferson clan. Furlong, on the other hand, describes the main argument and content of the book but offered critique on the lack of primary sources in the description of life on the Kentucky frontier. Brody also focused on the main argument and content, but in typical Brody fashion, points out that Merrill did not explore the theory that Mr. Lewis may have believed that this slave slept with his new wife. It is also to, important to keep in mind that Brody was the first modern biographer to accept the Jefferson Hemings affair and there may be a little bit of her bias coming into play with this critique. Wyatt Brown's review is extremely critical of the lack of academic credibility of the author. While it is partially understandable, there is almost a pretentiousness in his tone specifically with his comments of Merrill's use of the word Negro and the derogative comments about Merrill being a poet farmer, and casual writer of Kentucky history. Finally, Hockman's review emphasizes how Merrill is extremely limited in the evidence available due to the contradictory nature of it, but it focuses on putting the evidence into the context of life on the frontier to help explain and allow the reader to make his or her own judgment. He also notes how the title was misleading due to the lack of of connection between Jefferson and his nephews besides the simple blood lineage. By looking at all of these different views, we're able to form a consensus on Merrill's book because it's not simply one person's perspective um, on the book. We're gathering multiple perspectives on a book and piecing it together to find truth in the middle of all this because as we've noted, there is bias in book reviews, specifically mentioned um, Brody's of Merrill's book and how Merrill's book is not necessarily an academic historic work but is still a fairly interesting topic since it deals with Thomas Jefferson's nephews and this murder-suicide event that occurred on the frontier. Finally we're gonna look at Feldman's book in a book review by Mr. West who made it seem like the Feldman book was better focused Instead of focusing on the Jefferson connection, it focused on the earthquake on September 16th, the San Madrid earthquakes, and tied these stories together in that way. While the book review was mostly praise instead of critique, and I personally would have liked to have read more book reviews than just West because of this, it emphasizes the importance of having multiple perspectives to help form a consensus on a book because this book review only offered praise, there of course it are weaknesses in the book and these were not addressed and so it's important to read other books to get a more full perspective on the book as a whole.